These are the smallest scales, the so-called Planck scale, as it is called in physics. One cannot go below this scale with physical means, but we know today that there is a reality beyond these barriers. Leading thinkers describe something beyond that being the range of spirit, and that consciousness, the mind, is woven into the fabric of space and time. The geist is buried, and that the geist, the consciousness, gleichsam eingewoben ist in das Geflecht von Raum und Zeit. Und äh, wir können das auch von der wissenschaftlichen Seite her heute so And we can tell from the scientific side today because we find that the smallest elementary processes are affected by this. Von dieser Seite her beeinflusst werden. Nun wird oft eingewandt, dass Einflüsse now it is often argued that influences at this elementary level would be so weak that, for example, the thermal motion of molecules, which always have a degree of uncertainty, would wipe it all out or compensate it. But if we now consider that there is the phenomenon of the so-called coherence, where many molecules behave identically according to certain laws, then it means that patterns are amplified tremendously on an elementary level. ...dass Weichenstellungen auf elementarer Ebene ungemein verstärkt werden können. We know, for example, today that in water approximately 13 million individual water molecules join together into coherent structures that vibrate in a strictly coordinated way. Then water molecules do not act individually anymore, but collectively, and that means a huge amplification. And this is an effect that occurs constantly in our body fluids. Water is indeed the main constituent material of our body. When a certain field structuring influence through such coherence is reinforced in our body, it's only a small step to imagine that even incredible effects in the body are possible. And in the cells, water is 100% coherent. That is also the reason why biochemical reactions in a healthy cell are ordered and so wonderfully run. If we understand coherence as a particularly high degree of order, then the question arises, how can you create order or how you can support the body in the re-establishment of order if something is out of order.